The seed oils are one of the um, most uh, unhealthy uh, ingredients that we have in foods. And seed oils, the reason they're in the foods is because they're heavily subsidized. Is there anyone other than Bobby Kennedy that you would trust to get this kind of information into the mainstream? Surely, even the doubters and the haters have to acknowledge that what Bobby Kennedy's endorsement amounts to is the reassertion of issues into this election campaign. Free speech, end war, and health. In particular, the health of children. Bobby Kennedy has become adept at getting these issues discussed on the mainstream. Let's have a look at his conversation recently where he was able to bring that right to the forefront. Why should people be worried about these kind of products? The seed oils are one of the, um, the most uh, unhealthy uh, ingredients that we have in foods and seed oils. The reason they're in the foods is because they're heavily subsidized. They're very, very cheap, but they um, they are associated with all kinds of very, very serious illnesses, including uh, body-wide inflammation, right. which affects all of our health. It's one of the worst things you can eat, and it's almost impossible to avoid. If you eat any processed foods, you're going to be eating seed oil. Right, and it's interesting the government subsidizes it. Why would the government want to subsidize something that's going to make people sick and then in the end, we all end up paying for that in, in terms of health care costs, which well, are skyrocketing. Yeah, because that, that is a, a direct result of corruption. About 75 percent of FDA's budget comes from regulated industry, and that means food processors and pharmaceutical industry, all of them profit from a sick population. You know, the, a big item that and, and by the way, it's getting very expensive are cereals. Why is the food coloring in particular bad? Food coloring, you see your yellow food coloring, that is a petroleum uh, product. Mm -hmm. It's associated with really, you know, with um, with depression. It's associated with autoimmune injuries and ADHD. Yeah. The, these, and red dye also is, you know, is very bad in Europe. The same companies are producing the same products, but they're using natural yeah. uh, coloring. But here they can get away with it. We have about almost a thousand chemicals that are in our food that are either outright banned in Europe or actively discouraged. So you wouldn't be able to buy this kind of stuff in Europe. You ask about why it's so cheap, why it's so uh, uh, ubiquitous. It's because we subsidize the worst foods. We subsidize it with about 70% of our food stamp program is to process foods, which are all poison. Right. One of the things that's interesting is you'll see on, on labels, natural flavors, which is this catch-off phrase that I guess was lobbied for, but the ingredients in natural flavors are not really natural. No. In our country, natural flavors are, are chemical products. So you can't trust what's on the ingredient label, and the reason for that, again, is government corruption. It's that the agency, the USDA, the FDA, have been captured by the industries they're supposed to regulate. And they all have an interest in in subsidies and then in mass poisoning the American public. Yeah, I want to talk about pesticides and then let's talk to the, about the policy. So let's talk about the pesticides and the, and the things that worry you about. I mean, this looks like fresh food, right? What should I be worried about here? Yeah, I mean, the irony is, like, for example, my wife loves kale and she had the impression that kale is actually good for you. If it's organic, it's very good for you. But most kale and, and strawberries, for example, grapes, are contaminated with pesticides. And, and particularly the Environmental Working Group has found what they call the dirty dozen, some of the worst pesticides on these products. So, um, you know, I want to, I look at a strawberry and I think, oh, this is a healthy food. Right. But in most cases, unless it's organic, certified organic, you are getting something that's actually hurting you. Natural products are natural. Food 
is a poison, we're being flooded with toxicity. If you have the image of a conveyor belt onto which you are plopped as a larvae tot, you travel through the world, vaccinated sometimes, whether you need it or not, fed food that will make you sick, given media that's full of lies, led by a government that wants to rule and control you and hand over your individual freedom and your nation's freedom to globalist corporate powers. You remain on this conveyor belt, a blob, a blob from whom taxes can be extracted, sickness can be inserted, lies can enshroud and control you unless you awaken. My hope and prayer is that something extraordinary may be about to happen, that the world is changing fast, rapidly, and it's beginning with you. How else could it begin than with you? But the candidacy and alliance of Bobby Kennedy I believe represents the kind of progress that could disrupt the terrible trajectory of global corporatism. Believe you me, it's going to take a lot more than platitudes to bring down the globalist corporatist elites that run various organizations and institutions, bureaucratic and financial, militaristic, and that employ a managerial professional class to keep us all in check, duped, lied to banalized and controlled, sick, allergic, maltreated and malnourished. But that's just what I think. Why don't you let me know what you think in the comments and the chat. Listen, you know that we are partners with Rumble and Rumble have gotten into the coffee game. Now, if you knew that your coffee had been tainted with pesticides and chemicals, sitting in bags for months, sitting in an old ball bag for months, probably with traces of mold, would you drink it? The answer is, of course you wouldn't. Even Jill Biden wouldn't drink a bag so contaminated. Most of the coffee we consume is stale flavorless and full of harmful substances that have a negative effect on our health. Rumble 1775 coffee, on the other hand, is free from harmful substances and chemicals, whilst it's also rich in flavor. The beans are sourced from high altitude farms in Bolivia, roasted weekly in Miami and delivered fresh to your doorstep. As believers in freedom, buying 1775 coffee helps fight back against other coffee makers that don't even care about you none. Join the coffee revolution and brew rebellion with Rumble 1775 coffee. It's dark, it's delicious, but there are a variety of blends available. All you got to do is go to 1775coffee.com slash brand. And use the code BRAND right now to get your 15% off. You can click that. There's stuff available whether you're in the Wake and Wonder chat or in the Rumble chat. It's pretty bloody good coffee. I'll tell you that right now. And I say that as an Englishman for whom the date 1775 is a very painful thing to reflect on. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more uncensored content where free speech can flourish, join our live stream. Click the link right here to watch the next video if you want to, or become a member of a growing movement. Download the Rumble app and you'll be informed every time we make a new piece of content. Stay free.